All right, so we're going to do a real quick uh, get started with Obsidian Clipper, like the very basics. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new vault. So that way we're kind of just starting from scratch. Um, I'm going to call it test two. Um, I'm going to browse. I'm going to put it in my Obsidian. All right, create. All right, so we have a new vault. Go ahead and close this one. Let's go ahead and get everything situated. All right, close out this stuff. So uh, the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to settings and community plugins, and we wanna turn community plugins on. All right, so we're gonna, we're now able to install community plugins. Um, we can browse the community plugins. You can type in Clipper. Here's the plugin, let's install it. And then we're gonna enable it. All right, so we have everything done. One thing I'm gonna check real quick is on core plugins, I believe the default is for da daily notes to be turned on. Uh, if it is or isn't, if it isn't turned on, you, you'll wanna turn that on because out of the box, the Obsidian Clipper is going to, uh, the default thing it's gonna do is write to your daily note. All right. So great, we have everything set up. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go back to Obsidian Clipper settings. Uh, we're gonna go to the Obsidian Clipper settings. I'm not gonna change any of the settings. I'm just gonna go to the browser and I'm gonna grab the bookmarklet and drag it to my browser. All right, perfect. So um, I always like to go clip stuff from JavaScript or A's. So let's do that real quick. So let's grab some of this. Uh, no, let's not grab it that way. Let's just, there we go. Grab that. Let me close this real quick first. Um, and then go ahead and clip that. All right, boom. Created our note. It appended to it. We didn't have to change any settings. All it's going to do is just keep appending to the bottom of that document. So if I do another one. All right, clip that. Boom. Appended to the bottom of the document. Okay, so let's say you're, you know, you're like, hey, I, I don't want it to do that. I want to have um, a space in my daily notes where I'm storing clippings. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, in this case, we're gonna go to settings. We're going to go to um, core plugins. We're going to go to daily notes and we're gonna click on options. And in this case, uh, we're gonna leave everything the same except for in this case, the template we're going to do it. Let's create a template first. Sorry. Let's do that first. So let's create a new folder. We're going to call it templates. Okay. We created a template. So now we're going to create a new note in there and we're going to call it daily, daily note template. All right. And in there, all we're going to do is we're going to just add a level one heading called clippings with the new line. Boom. Done. All right, so now we can open the settings again. We are on the daily note selling, and here we're just gonna go select templates, daily note, okay? Boom, we did that. So now what we're gonna do, sorry, we're gonna go back to settings, go to Obsidian Clipper, and in here, we're gonna say the daily note header is clippings. We're not gonna put in the, the, you know, the pound sign. It's only looking for level one headers. So in this case, it's gonna look for the level one header called clippings in our daily note that gets created by that template. All right, so we're gonna close that because it's all good to go. We're gonna close this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this daily note that we created earlier so that it'll regenerate it. Yep, go ahead and delete that. Now, let's go ahead and clip this again. Boom, we clipped it. Now, what you'll see is, is now everything's under the clippings. So if I go back up here, up here I can select some more. Let's uh, select some more. Uh, select. Yep. There we go. Do it again. Boom. It's now it's just going to append under the clippings. And to show you that, I'm going to put up another one here called um, normal stuff. And I can type all the stuff I want. And again, go clip. And it's going to go under that header. See? All right. That should give you started pretty quick.